All right. So I told you about extension mobility. Extension mobility is not exactly taking the phone, but the phone profile. You can switch from one device to another in different sites. So, for example, you are sitting in uh, one building, and now you have uh, another building just opposite to it. You want to go to that building, and from one of the room there, you want to log into your uh, device profile and then access all the device profile settings you, that you were using in the previous building. So without taking the hardware device with you, you can just simply log into a device using your device profile. That is extension mobility. So there is no need to carry the physical phone from one site to another. You can log in using your extension mobility settings. That is a profile basically. There are some steps configured in extension mobility like we create an end user, then we associate the end user with the IP phone. Then we create the phone service that we discussed yesterday. For, to create the phone service, we create a URL, which is a fixed URL, HTTP colon slash slash. This is important to know. Then the IP address of CUCM, your call manager, then port 8018. A C C slash E M A small P capital S let question mark device equal to hash device name in capital and hash size. So this is the URL which is used to enable the phone service and then we create the device profile, select the phone, uh, the phone that we need to create device profile for. So for those there are some settings that it automatically takes by choosing the device profile for the phone. Like suppose if it is 8860 or any, any phone or Cisco uh, IP communicator also. So for all those phones, different series of phones, there are the device profiles that we have to select to create the device profile, give a line number. Then we associate these configurations and also make sure that we subscribe phone service. So these are some things to note in extension mobility. So here we can see an example where uh, in the main site there is a Home phone with the user's extension, privileges, buttons, phone services, MWI status, etc. Some service uh, settings it has. Is he zooming to another site, to the <clears throat> remote site on a guest phone with a different extension, privileges, button, phone service, MWI status, etc. Now, if you have extension mobility enabled, what are the characteristics of extension mobility? So extension mobility gives a solution for roaming users. It is implemented as IP phone service. It requires user login. For user login, we use uh, user ID and PIN. It applies user specific settings to the phone and user settings stored in user specific device profile. In extension mobility, dynamic dynamic phone configuration by device profile is done. So there is a dynamic configuration as we move to another device. So here we can see that there is a user John. He logs out from its originating device, the first one from the main site, which had some user located, NOH audio source, some uh, phone button template, soft key template, line settings, CSS, all those, and move to another site and log into another phone using the same settings. All right, so here we can see that there is end user one, user one, for which we have created a user profile, a device profile A, and extension mobility is enabled for that, that user. Also, we can create two different profiles or more than one profile for the same user. So for user two, there is a device profile B and device profile C, and we have enabled extension mobility for both the device profiles. So this user can log in using either this device profile or this device profile. And we can set the same configuration or different configurations for two of the device profiles also. So let's say one is using this device profile for this phone, 7811, other is 8865. 
So as if, if we know that this user would need to log into this phone and this phone now in that case because their device profile settings will change. So we have created two different device profiles for the same user and associated both of those to the same user. Now extension mobility CSS consideration in extension mobility device level CSS and AAR CSS are not modified. Uh, AR CSS means automated alternate routing. Automated alternate routing. And CSS we know which we use for calling privileges. Device level CSS cannot be changed in case of extension mobility, but line CSS is modified. Because we are not taking the device from one location to another, so we do not need to modify the device level uh, CSS in that case. We modify the line level CSS for the profile. Right? We can select the gateway as a local route group feature. So whatever gateway we want to use, we can select that as well in extension mobility. Now, how extension mobility handles phone model differences? So device profile type does not match phone type. Now, like in this case, I said that there are two phones available, this one and this one. So for each, there will be a different device profile created, a standard uh, Cisco 7811 and a standard Cisco 8865 like this will be there. But what if I do not use a correct device profile setting during the configuration? Then what will happen if it does not match or if a user is logging into a device which is different from its device uh, profile settings, which is done for the extension mobility, then will it not be able to log in just on the basis of device profile? No, he will be able to log in. And what happens in that case? As the device profile type does not match, the phone type will take the default setting. So we have a standard device profile that it takes automatically. So the settings of default device profile are applied. Then the phone button template is selected and applied based on that. And in that case, sometimes because not all the phones have same type of phone button template, so you have to configure that manually. 